He had no idea that he was striking the match that would light up Western civilization. Carl Barth uh, makes the observation that Luther, when he posted the 95 Theses, was like a blind man climbing a tower in the church, in the bell tower, and he began to lose his balance, and he reached out to grab something to stabilize himself, and what he grabbed in his blindness was, was the rope for the church bell, and accidentally awakened the whole town by the ringing of the bells. In many ways, it was the beginnings of the modern world. But there was something to that singular moment of the posting of the 95 Theses that not only changed church history, this changed world history for the centuries to come. And no longer now would human tradition and ecclesiastical councils and even the Pope himself be the authority in the church. The highest arbitrator in the church would now be, thus says the Lord, as it was recorded in the canon of written scripture. I'd like to say it's a dangerous book for Luther because it will kill you. It will take you as a sinner and will deliver you into Christ's death, and then it will raise you up as a new person. He knew how serious this was, and he knew, as his critics had said to him, that he before God would have to answer the question, are you alone wise? He was the monk who changed the world. But there was one aspect of Martin Luther, for better or for worse, that never changed. Luther was a bullheaded man who was capable of moments of supreme self-confidence when he knew it was right and he was going to move ahead like a bull in a china shop. The problem with that kind of personality, though, is when they get hold of the wrong end of an argument or when they go off in the wrong direction, uh, the damage can be as spectacular as the greatness was spectacular. And yet this was the man, this was the man that God used to recapture the gospel. He restored the word of God, the Bible, to the center of Christian life and worship. He re-established the importance of family, the value of music, the dignity of human labor, but most significantly of all, he recovered the truth that a person's justification in the eyes of God comes by grace alone, through faith alone. I am absolutely certain that no power on, on earth, no force in this world can ever extinguish the kingdom of God, that uh, the church cannot and will not lose. The church of Christ will conquer all things. That's the hope that we have.